we're going to go ahead and uh, run through our shutdown procedure. We've just got it back down on the ground. Our RPMs are still up at 100%. So before we pull out our checklist or anything like that, we want to go ahead and roll our RPMs all the way down. You're just going to overwrite the governor and just manually roll them down to 75. Now at that point, that governor is no longer active, so it's not going to roll them up. But we want to go ahead and get that governor off just so if we... Uh, forget to pay attention to the RPMs, that governor doesn't roll on those uh, RPMs that we don't want it to. So now our RPMs are at uh, 75%. Our governor's on. We want to get our frictions back on. Make sure that those aren't going anywhere. So our cyclic friction's on. Come back to our collective friction and that's on. And then we can go ahead and uh, just put one foot on the pedals and make sure our uh, cyclic's centered there. That way we free up one hand to do everything else. All right, so everything, all our frictions are on. Uh, cylinder head temperature drop. So what we're looking there is that our temperature has come down below 300 degrees. So you can see there already we're at 300 degrees because we didn't do a long flight. So now that we've confirmed our cylinder head temperature has dropped, we go ahead and close the throttle. So I just like to go ahead and put my hand all around the throttle again and just roll that throttle all the way to idle. And now we've confirmed it's all the way to idle. Once we do that, we'll get our clutch switch to start disengaging. So that way those belts start losing some of that tension. So we'll let that disengage for 30 seconds now. So I'll look at the clock and wait until we hit about 30 seconds. And just let that clutch give that time to disengage. All right, so now we've got our clutch disengaged. We waited 30 seconds. Once we hit 30 seconds, we'll go ahead and pull our mixture guard off of our mixture and push down the button and just pull up our mixture all the way until it, uh, you hear the engine shut off. Once you get that off, you want to go ahead and grab our alternator and our magnetos, confirm that those are off. Now we're going to go ahead and leave our master on, that way our strobe's still running, because our blades are still turning, we want people to still see that the helicopter is still running. We'll go ahead and make sure we get our radio, we'll uh, leave our radio on so we can hear us, but we'll go ahead and get our transponder off. And then at this point, and then if you have a rotor brake, you're going to wait another 30 seconds, and then you're going to start uh, gradually pulling that rotor brake to slow it down. We don't have a rotor brake, so we're just going to let those blades uh, slow down, and we're just going to wait in the helicopter until they uh, quit spinning. Hey guys, it's Brian Rutledge with Helicopter Online Ground School. Today we're out at the Auburn Airport I'm with my good friend David Redman with Odyssey Aeronautics. We're going to be in the R-22 today and we're going to do a pre-flight video for all of you. First